Hey guys, Vincent Wayne here for Slash Gear. This here is my 5S, and this is the new iPhone 6, 4.7 inch. And this is the new 5.5 HD. Size comparison wise, the 4.7 feels extremely good in your hand, while the 5.5 also feels good, lightweight. Um, you still can't reach the top, but Apple has come up with a couple of different ways to make that uh, more manageable. So you double tap on. Double tap on home. How do you get it back to regular size? Uh, you know, it's got a heavy spot, right? Just kind of slide up. Okay. It's just where the so that that's for, doesn't matter what app or what when you're in. Correct. Correct. So if I'm here on the home screen, as if you were tapping on the glass. Oh, okay. All right. You're just in the browser window, and that's why you're kind of it's thinking you want to scroll as opposed to gotcha. Back so gotcha. it's easier on the home screen if you just tap tap, and then you can slide it up. Tap tap will bring it up as well too. Yeah. Huh. And then we've also put the power button on the side mm -hmm. and make it easier access. The display is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the idea is if you're moving around, we can leave the shutter open. That's what they, I mean, I got right. straight from. And it was is it an F1.8 or 2.0? 2.2. 2.2. Okay, so let's look at those pictures I just took while I was shaking around. Oh, wow. It's not bad. This is a super cool autofocus. So it's basically going to pan twice. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, so behind you now. So, I see what you're saying. You don't have to touch anything. Right. So the auto focus locks on, and it's pretty much instant. Continuous, yeah. Continuous. Is that